All right, YouTube, um, we're back to it with the second week of the Nomadic Deluxe's uh, release rollout, album rollout, and this is the 15th of August. It is 9.51 p.m. It's been a bit of a hectic day for me. I might, I might actually go into detail about how the day's been, but let's talk about the past week. So last time I made a video, uh, talking to you guys about this album release plan. It was just prior to the first single rolling out and that first single was Jokes On You uh, and that's the song that is produced by uh, 94. Uh, you gotta pronounce it like that, 94 and features hits and again it, it dropped last Friday on the 9th of August on all streaming platforms. Um, let's go through the analytics I guess like to, to start this off. Um, just to update you guys and if you guys aren't sure about what i'm talking about if this is your first time seeing me i am an artist i'm a rapper i make music i make content and i put it out to the world so if you guys want to want to hear a little bit more about what i'm talking about and you want to see the first episode of this go to my channel you can check it out there um yeah we're just we're just trying to create create here and uh make make the best things that we can and you know put it out to the world and build a community around it so anyway um Let's talk about the analytics. Uh, the first thing that I want to talk about is uh, Spotify monthly listeners. Now, if you remember in the, in the first video that I made, I mentioned that it was my goal to reach 4 million monthly listeners. And we were starting at 51 monthly listeners on Spotify. Um, I am I'm, I'm pretty happy to say that we didn't take a dip this week we actually uh in in the span of one week we went from 51 to a whopping 73 spotify monthly listeners so clap for that shout out to everybody um for for running it up and and really supporting it obviously you know it's it's 20 something 20 odd new listeners but you know uh, I still remember the days like it was yesterday where it was zero listeners and no one even knew that I, that I made music. So no stress. Um, I'm, I'm really happy with that. And I'll take those incremental gains any day. Um, if, if it feels like I'm, I'm forcing gratitude right now, then it's because it is like I'm really trying to be a bit more gracious and put that energy out into the world. So uh, moving forward anyway, uh, Spotify total streams. We started at 5,632 and we are now sitting at 5,795, which, you know, obviously that tells us that there was a hundred and something streams over the past week. It's not, you know, if DJ Academics got a hold of this, he would be roasting the hell out of me for first week streams, but it's not about first week streams for this. And uh, I'll, I'll, I'll touch a little bit more on that topic uh, when we get there in a second, but uh, Spotify followers, we gained one new follower. And I was actually checking the metrics on this and looking at the photos and stuff. The followers were up and down. At one point in the past week, we got to 180 followers from 173. And now we're back down to 174. So I'm not sure what happened in that time span for people to unfollow. But to that one person that stuck around, shout out to you. I appreciate you so much. Um, playlist ads. Went from 280 to 284, so that's cool. Four new playlists. Um, shout out to everybody adding me to your to your playlist and all that. Uh, Apple Music Daily listeners, we're still at two from last week. Uh, still at 7,500. We can't really see the exact number or exact, exact figure of how many total streams we've uh, got on Apple Music. Instagram followers. Now, this is inter interesting. Um, I can't really explain why this has happened, but Instagram followers, we took a dip from 4,111 followers last week to 4,104 followers. So that was a little bit disheartening, but again, it's, it's a small number. Um, that's where, that's where I pay no attention to the small numbers. I'm not too fussed about that because I would rather people unfollow me and, you know, my algorithm reset and, and, um, you know, hopefully the algorithm pushes me to more accounts that do actually want to consume my content and do actually mess with the messages that I'm putting out into the universe. Then people follow me just for the sake of watching me struggle. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's, that's cool. 4,104 shout out to y'all Instagram post engagement rate. We are, we were at 66.9%. I was pretty happy with that, but now we're at 283.2%. And I'm going to credit that solely to the fact that we've 
posted consistently seven days straight since the single came out even eight days straight because we started posting the day before the first song dropped so i think it obviously if you're putting more content out more frequently then of course there's going to be a bit more engagement um in terms of the actual post the quality um we weren't getting too many views um, i think one or two videos crossed a thousand views and then even then the like ratio was a little bit off uh and there was also some personal posts like my my son's birthday was this week and uh me and my partner's anniversary was this week and i was posting about it i even posted some things to my story because my little brother's birthday was this week so all of that can be credited we're not gonna worry too much about it but if it takes a dip next week then we know why obviously um tiktok followers uh i gained three new followers so we were at 5224 now we're at 5227 engagement rate same similar sort of thing i had a 994.4 percent engagement rate on tiktok now we're at 2718 percent which is that's that's a crazy jump to me i never never seen no engagement in, in the thousands like that so pretty crazy like that and then youtube subscribers we we stayed at 467 youtube's been a little bit tougher to crack not gonna lie and it's, it's solely to the fact that uh well none of my long form content has ever really done well on youtube and the short form content lately it's, it's been a bit of a struggle because i think uh let, let's get into some of the issues so while we're on this topic of youtube i uh, i've noticed that my scheduling app the partner Planoly uh, that I'm using to schedule all of my social media posts to make sure that I upload one piece of content and it gets spread to all of my socials, uh, mainly Instagram, TikTok, Facebook, and YouTube, uh, YouTube Shorts. When it gets submitted to YouTube Shorts, the Shorts are made private. Uh, they post as private videos and and i have to manually go into studio and make them public which is a little bit frustrating i'm not gonna lie it's it's really uh it's, it, it just makes it a lot more tedious to to get through this process but you know it is what it is and i i again the reason why i've gone this route of using a planner is for the sake of uh consistency is for the sake of uh reassurance and uh convenience right because i don't have time to sit around and make these posts all day and sometimes these videos that we're putting together these reels and these tiktoks they can be a bit of a larger uh, file and it's a bit difficult to um you know sometimes i might be out in the area where reception is really bad really trash and it's, it's really tough to uh get those get those things uploaded sometimes i'll go to post something I'll leave it. I'll think it's at 99% and then I'll turn my phone off and then I'll come back home later. That video never posted. And I'm like, why, why am I not getting any likes? Because the video never came out. So again, that's the whole convenience thing, but it's, it's something that we're working on, I guess. And I think another thing that I want to speak about specifically with this first week was the single itself jokes on you. Now I'm not saying that's a bad song, but you know this is this is a song that obviously this is the beginning of the album rollout and it is something that i was made aware of from friends and family that you know it's it's a bit of a slower song it's not really structured to be a a single like we all have our own preconceived notions of what a single is supposed to be it's supposed to be something catchy something that's going to hook people in and reel them in and, and make them want to uh you know it, show some replay value jokes on you is not one of those songs it's not your traditional opening single for an album it's pretty much a one take free with a hook and it's the hook only comes in one time so it doesn't even get time to be a hook right it doesn't get time for to get caught in people's heads and things like that so it was it's it's a tough sell i'm not gonna lie and i'll be the first a, a lot of this video today is going to be just a lot of self-reflection and, and reflecting on what could have been done better in the first week i think all of these videos we got we got 17 weeks of this we got 16 weeks left um but in saying that that's the first single 
right i still think it's got a lot it's obviously very sentimental to me i think that there are people out there who can connect with the lyrics if we can just get it in front of them um for example one of the comments that i got the other day was from uh real classic j um based in uh topo new zealand um and shout out to you bro i really appreciate you you commenting and saying uh those first couple of lines hit hard and it was for a section in the middle of the song where i say um that's when the man in the mirror comes into play and finally says straight to my face, you just go to the studio, don't worry about your wife, your newborn, and your two-year-old. Don't worry about the fact that you're missing watching them children grow. Tell yourself that that's just the price of making your music blow, right? And I know that it's probably a small percentage of the population that's going to relate to bars like that, but that's, that's essentially the audience that I'm trying to target because that's me. That's, I, I wrote those lyrics to relate to me. And if there's people like me out there who can relate to lyrics like that, then those are the people that I'm trying to build this audience around. And again, when I look at things like losing a couple of followers, going from 4,111 to 4,104, all I can think is they must not be like me, right? And I'm fine with that. I'm completely fine with people dropping off at this point in the journey, because at this point in the journey, I am trying to build an audience that mirrors my tendencies, my tendencies as a consumer, as a fan, and things like that. So, yeah, that's that's how I feel about this first single. Obviously, slower jam, but I know I have songs further down this down the pipeline in the next sixteen weeks that are really going to resonate on a more general, uh, a general, a more mainstream basis, and you know, touch a couple of different markets. So. This next single that's coming out at midnight is called We On. And this is a song that's very important to me. And I've it's it's really special to me. And the crazy thing is that I made this song and I, I released it for the first time a couple of years ago. And it features my brother as one. It's uh, produced by DJ Spell. And it's really about community. Again, it's a slower jam. But this one, in terms of its structure, is put together a little bit more. There's a hook in there that really resonates. Our verses really resonate. And it speaks directly to our Pacifica people, especially our young people in, you know, Samoan, Tongan, whatever Nisian you are, Micronesian, Melanesian, Polynesian, all of us Islanders connect for this song. And uh something cool that i found out in the past year was that this song was actually being used for curriculum um and i want to shout out to my friend leah from co-culture uh who's you know reached out to me i did a really dope interview with her on triple r and she told me essentially that you know this is one of those songs where i break down the lyrics for uh, my cohort and let them know that you know this is the caliber of I'm paraphrasing here, but it was just a lot of gassing, it was just a lot of gassing me up and, and telling me that the job that we did when we created that track uh, was a lot deeper than we thought it might be. We really just we wrote it at a time where we were seeing a lot of violence and some death and in our community and our young people. And we really wanted to combat that and try and create a piece that was going to resonate and remind people of our lineage and, you know, the, the voyages uh the navigators that we descended from you know essentially this was our version of moana right <laughs> like if you if you really deep what moana is about it's essentially a movie that's meant to remind remind you or inspire someone to find out for yourself your lineage and and the culture that you come from the rich deep culture that you come from and uh, that was that was really important to us to capture that. So that's the song that's coming out at midnight. I feel like it's going to resonate a little bit more. I know it sounds weird when I talk about the sentimentality and the meaningfulness of this music. And then I go into this jargon about business and things like that. But something that came up today with a friend of mine, JBN, we were talking about how you know, it's not always about money for us. Obviously, we're creatives and we just want to create for the sake of bringing people together and engaging community and fostering culture. But the thing is, 
there is money to be made in music and if there's money on the table right you don't want just anybody to come in and feel like they're entitled to any of that money that you've so rightfully earned and generated off the back of your creations right so this kind of speaks to a whole different conversation around you know financial literacy and business acumen and things like that but i just think it's really important for people especially independent artists around here in melbourne australia to really deep and understand and, and do some more learning around analytics and what goes into you know making the cookie crumble and things like that but yeah anyway we're already at 15 minutes on this i want to talk about my mental health a little bit because I'm not going to lie, guys, it's, it's kind of deteriorated over the course of seven days since I last spoke to you. Like I said, there was a lot of things going on in life, birthday parties, uh, anniversaries and things like that. And your boy hasn't been doing too well, but I have taken steps in the past week. I've had two uh, therapy sessions. The first one was good. I thought it was great. And then I needed an emergency therapy session because I was going through something internally, had a bit of a panic attack. I had a couple of breakdowns. A lot of it has to do around financial situations. And then it also has to do with like internal issues around, you know, me not being the greatest father to my kids and, you know, me trying so desperately to make this music thing happen. I think I've said it before in, in the last video that, I've been at this for nine years now, damn near 10. And, you know, I'm still just scratch scratching the surface of what I'm capable of. I'm still just starting now to kind of understand how this all works and what it's going to take for me to be successful in this industry. And that's by my own definition of success. You know, my definition of success is being able to do what you love full time and for me what i love to do is music and i can't afford to do it full time i have to work other jobs and i'm fortunate enough to work in a in a four-day job that allows me to pay the bills and also allows me to be around other creatives but at the end of the day i just want to be making music full time and doing this full time and doing this for the rest of my life uh, creating videos and content that i can share with you guys and working on new music that makes me feel it makes me feel a certain way and helps me to unpack what i'm going through um and i've been doing a lot of that i have been in the past week been making a lot more demos demos that i'm excited about talking to other producers about how we can you know craft new music so that we're ready to go in 2025 after this whole release plan is done and there's some exciting things on the way I was told by my uncle that some of the some of the demos that I was making was a little bit of a rant over a beat, and that was so valid. Um, I'm sorry to put you out on blast, Uncle Rob, but you know you drop so many gems all the time, and you tell me what I need to hear, and I I never take it for granted. I you know it it sits right here and in here, and I just want you to know that I really deeped what you were saying, and in terms of being gracious and having true gratitude and being really thankful for what it is that I'm, I'm I'm doing on this earth and what I have around me. You know, I'm very blessed to have four babies and all of them are beautiful. I'm very blessed to be with a woman that loves me and supports me with what I'm trying to do, even in our financial situation. I'm very blessed that you know, I've got parents that support me and check in with me here and there when they haven't heard it from me in a while. And I know I take that for granted. Um, and at the end of the day, nothing is stopping me from coming in here and pouring my heart into the music that I want to make. So with that being said, you know, these analytics and stuff, we're going to go through this every single week and that's fine. But at the end of the day, I'm going to still be me. I'm going to still make the music that I want to make. And if you guys want to follow me on that journey, then let's do it. And let's have some fun while we do it. Anyway, I'm going to wrap it up there because we're approaching the 20-minute mark. 
if you guys aren't already following me on all the platforms i need you to follow me on spotify i need you to follow me on on instagram and tiktok we gotta hit those benchmarks at least by the end of the 17 weeks and if we don't look at least we tried at least i sat here and i told you that you know you can do that thing you can't say i didn't try um jokes on you is out by the time this video goes up we on's probably going to be out and then life and times comes out next friday um run those up everywhere i appreciate you i love you be gracious be thankful and let me remind you everyone's got a job but at the end of the day as much as you are an asset you are a human first and that's the last thing i gotta say much love take care yay yay